As you can imagine, when we're calling a media briefing at 6 a.m., it's going to be important, and it is. As it turns out, the unprecedented rain flooding our lakes and rivers is having impacts beyond the dams and shorelines of Central Texas. Our water system is the most recent infrastructure to struggle to keep up with the impacts. Yesterday, we asked our customers to reduce your use, and today, we are now asking you to not drink from the sink. In the abundance of caution, we are issuing a, water, a boil water notice for all customers of Austin Water. I'm told this has never been done in the history of the, a water utility. This isn't a conclusion we came to lightly and not one we made alone. We had a late night at the Emergency Operations Center working with all of our regional partners to determine the best course of action and to plan for the resulting effects on our community. Clearly, this has impacted not just for our residents, but for our hospitals, schools, food services, and manufacturers across the region. Greg and his team at Austin Water have been working around the clock for days in an effort to avoid this conclusion. Unfortunately, as he'll share with you, this is simply a case of Mother Nature throwing more at the system than the system can currently process. Good morning, I'm Greg Mazaris. I'm director of Austin Water, and I'll explain a little bit kind of what we've been doing the last few days. But once the flood started, it washed untold volumes of soil and silt uh, into the river system. Uh, we have three, <coughs> excuse me, we have three major drinking water plants, and uh, all of those plants draw water from the river. We've been reducing capacity at those plants to try to treat this high turbid or very cloudy water. It's of a level that we've never experienced in the history of our utility, uh, and it's been a real struggle. Uh, we've been trying to stay up with it, but uh, last night we determined that we could no longer provide adequate water into the system to preserve pressures and fire and still meet the turbidity or clarity requirements of drinking water. We haven't had a violation yet, but we believe one is probable, and we wanted to uh, issue this oil water notice ahead of all of that. We're working very closely, not only with our technical staff, but with the state TCEQ uh, on this issue. We're not sure when it's gonna stabilize. The water in the river is uh, still very, very turbid, as the mayor described. It looks like chocolate milk or a milkshake. Um, for example, uh, typical drinking water is 0.3, NTUs of clarity or turbidity, the river water is over 400, and uh, we've never seen it uh, to that level before. Um, I have to, not only the boil order, but we're continuing to appeal for customers to reduce demand. Uh, we need to rebuild the storage in our system, making sure we have adequate water for fire protection and other pressures, and it's imperative that not only you boil water that you're gonna consume, but you do all that you can to reduce the amount of water that you use until we can get through this event.